Rick Rosenberg, Gear Up Products, president and co-founder. Um, I've invented Glue Boost, Master Glue, and Fill and Finish for luthiers, repair people, and manufacturers. I'm here in um, Roger Sadowski's wonderful workshop. Um, we're very thankful to him for allowing us to spend this time here today. My Thank pleasure. you so much. My pleasure. And we have master luthier and builder um, Mario Beauregard, who is going to show you and take you through the uh, the uh, different uh, techniques that are available using these products. And we hope you enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching. I also like to use it as a, as a pore filler. I can actually finish uh, with the, uh, the finisher. I can actually uh, finish uh, pig guards, tailpieces. Um, this is an example of one that I've done very quickly. And uh, I can actually French polish the finisher and it doesn't fume as we've all experienced. And, uh, but anyway, we wear masks and glasses for security purposes and for our own safety. And, uh, and I can actually French polish this product and this is a result. And um, I'll use the, this fretboard just to give you an example. First, this is a way I, I would use it as a pore filler. I use that a lot on my headstocks. So I can actually polish it like this. And I can spray a bit. Level it. As you can see, we already have a, a spot, and I've used a 320 grit to start. Uh, this is for the pour filling. Um, probably do two application. Usually two will do. If it's rosewood, sometime three application. Okay, there you go. And again, I level. And this section, just to show you, I've pour, I filled all my pores, and I can actually level it a little, a little more. And I've sprayed uh, polyurethane on top. I've, I've even tried it with uh, nitro, and it works great. Um, and it doesn't shrink, um, so I really like it as a pore filler. It actually works fine for me. I can. This is the, basically the technique to bring it up to this kind of shine. Um, if this was a tailpiece or a pig guard, um, or any small parts, just makes it easy. Go again. Spray it. And what I use is uh, I start with 800 uh, dry paper. To a thousand. Fifteen hundred. And then I use this three thousand pad. I haven't even buffed it yet, and as you can see, uh, you can have different kind of shines. Um, you know, you can go very high gloss. You can go semi gloss. You can leave it at. Uh, I use 15. Some people like it like a satin finish. So I can vary the degree of the of the shine, which I. It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> it's great for, I really like it for uh, fretless fretboards. Uh, I've even done it on the maple fretboard. Um, 
turn out great and you can actually bring it to a very high shine. Regular CA, I couldn't do that. I was, it would just kill me. And uh, this product, I can actually French polish it and I'm not getting any uh, fumes doing it. And, uh, but anyway, don't, don't forget to wear your mask and your glasses anyway. So.